13 versus Gact. Got our gamers. Should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Gact is, of course, the favorite to win this, but 13 is no slouch, and he is using a character that people would say does really well in the matchup against us. Absolutely. All right, so, so starting... Presumably, it shouldn't be one-sided, but we'll see. Yep, starting things off on PS2 right now, you know, I'd say, like, neutral-ish for this particular matchup. I don't think any one character really benefits from, like, the zoning paradise that PS2 offers. So, I'm going to see how it works right now. We were talking before about how, you know, Marth really does well against uh, Ness edge guarding, but Gak already showing that matchup knowledge by going for the PK Thunder instead of the uh, Yo-Yo, and right there getting a reversal for 13's first stock. Only 46% now on Gak. 13 has, you know, some work to do. Already getting pushed back off stage this is what really what Ness does best is Ness puts you at puts you at the ledge and just makes you regret all of your life decisions. You know, how did I end up here? This is not my beautiful house. This is the ledge. Right, Gak kind of scoping out that air dodge right there, giving 13 the space and you know probably getting that download as well. I feel like we're gonna be seeing Gak capitalize on that later. What a Jab into grab by Gag. That was so fast. Just do it. Like, who in their right mind is ever going to react to that? Gag clearly is very well learned in this matchup. You can tell by the way he moves. Absolutely. Gag has been spacing so well around Marth's uh, range so far. Oh, there's right, the up tilt. Oh, my goodness. All right, man, that, that up smash covered pretty much everything that was that was a rough position for 13. i don't know maybe get up attack might have helped 13 in that situation but i think gak uh you know baited out any other options so you get some good up air ladders and now the pk thunder once again using the tail right there to make sure that 13 gets hit by it we're gonna see how 13 Deals with the ledge, uh, gets hit with another magnet. You know, 13 really hasn't been able to get much value out of the ledge in the same way that Gact has. All right, once again, that time using the forward air to get through the PK Thunder, but right back into the blender with that dash attack. Does he know what to do here? Does he know it? Okay, good. He good. knows. You have to know it. You can't roll there. You... Oh. Ness's yo yo just. Oh my god, he's and dead! Untackable. Yeah, you have to know there's a big enough of a gap in Ness's yo-yo charge-like thing that you can roll, but then it hits you anyway. Like that. Yep, speaking of being Tactics hit by yo-yo. The child I wins. just noticed he has like a little Franklin badge thing. That's so cool. Ness the child wins. Yeah, Gak's movement around, like, all of 13's range was so good in this game one. Ness is, you know, he's, he's a slippery little little lad. Yeah, this was a really good sequence. I think Gak might have been able to do the uh, PK Thunder 2 head bonk. I know, especially on, like, uh, PS2, it's historically kind of difficult because the PK Thunder will hit the underside of the stage. I agree. Right. Okay, I have to get up and play matches, so Dev is going to sit down. I don't know if he's going to commentate with you, though, but enjoy yourself. All right, let's see. Game two on uh, Smashville. So Smashville... Ooh, dear. Hello. Hello. Uh, 13 just died at, like, 50. Yeah, my man's exploded. So, I mean, Smashville, historically, I think, kind of favors a more uh, scrappy matchup type. Which... Uh, it's the kind of stage that we're, like, it's a lot of, uh, like, it's a very juggle-centric because of how that platform is placed, right? Mm -hmm. It takes up most of the stage. So if you if you play a character that's able to get them in the air, uh, then, like, you'll be able to use that to your advantage. But you are right, because the stage is small, like, you are going to... You're going to scrap, like you said. 
Yeah, which makes me wonder why this was 13's counterpick, because I feel like Ness really excels at that in particular. Um, I think it's one of those things that because Ness is like so fast, right? You don't want to give him the time and space to do what he wants, and you're hoping that like because like you're gonna increase the amount of interactions, you maybe be able to catch a misstep uh, because it's so close, you know? Because like for characters that are like going on and on and on and on, right? Um, that can just be like how they're controlling space, and so if you don't give them space then maybe then uh, you can find an opening. Right. Also, close blast zones, Marth, LOL. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, and I do want to point out uh, also that Hollow Bastion was one of Gak's uh, bands. So, 13, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, Hollow Bastion is uh, literally FD in, like, stage uh, size and shape, and then has the exact same FD uh, blast zones being the ceiling and the, the walls and the floor. Smashville, taller ceiling, uh, closer walls. Um, and also, you know, Smashville is physically smaller than Battlefield, uh, than FD. Anyway, we've been talking about, like, stage counter picks this whole time. 13's on his last stock of game two. That's my thing, baby. But, yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, <laughs> it, it'd be like that. Ooh, early up B from 13. He put back off stage, burns the ooh, double ooh, jump, ooh, and it, gets it, well, okay. burned. Okay, only the, the up smash. Yeah, that'll be actually made it closer to the legend I was expecting, because, like, definitely well within, like, magnet range. And then just got the the either two frame or just beat it out because the yo yo's just hanging off stage. Ooh, that's gonna be yeah. That's unfortunate. Thirteen just not able to make it back to the ledge, and that is gonna be Gax with a pretty convincing 2-0. Oh, have fun. Yeah, fun. Uh, well, fun jump scare. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, uh, honestly, like, pretty good showing uh, from 13, you know. Definitely, like, you know, had, had a few things going, but I think it's just one of those things where, you know, Gax has been around the block a bit too much, too many times to to let anything, like, through uh, that, that 13 was trying to serve up, you know? Yeah, just kind of uh, inexperience. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that was clean. Yeah, that that's the that's the the oopsie factor for Marth for sure. <laughs> Oops, you you accidentally walked into my my tipper. Yep. Goodbye. Yeah. How you doing? I'm